John Shepherd Butchers, Bristol's local butcher, established over 60 years ago. My name on it. <laughs> I'm taking that boy. Yo, babe. Babe. Who we got sign? See what's inside. Cooking mode activated. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. T bone steak. Well, two T bone steaks, one for me, one for her. And then I've chosen the easy way. Going for the chicken fillet, which is already seasoned. Don't know if you can see that. But yeah, from John Shepherds. And then I'm going to go for the lamb kebab. I'm going to season the, the steaks up and then dash them on the barbecue. Wash my hands. Chim this drizzle into it. Lightly. See it there? That's the black pepper quartz. Don't know why this is in there, but Mrs. done it, so. Don't lie. Some oxtail seasoning. Don't know how that comes into the mix. But I see you got that out. You know what? The crinkly oh one. Mm. It's all about perfecting it. No point in cooking if you're not gonna. Make that's sure way too much, by the way. No, trust me, that's nice, trust me, trust me. It's detail. Mm -hmm. All it comes down to is detail. Some people get it, some people don't. That's why my food at home is not the greatest. Mm -hmm. One sec, Leo. Here's the olive in the kitchen. Case me. Don't worry about salt, babe. No. Alright, cool. I'm gonna. Go for some oil. little oil. I'm gonna trinkle him though. No, trinkle, no, no, no. not too much, delicate no, trinkle. No, you can't have that one, baby. Oil in my hand. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get my hands involved now. <laughs> Cheese! I'm gonna get my hands involved. Little bit of lemon. Jesus. Good, that's what you get. Squeeze it properly. Detail. Some people get it, some people don't. Get that I said lemon steak, but I love it. Case Bay, back at it again. Case Bay, back at it again. And I'm going to just use my hands, different kind of technique, you might not have seen it before. But I'm going to go for a little, I'm going to season it outwards. Okay. So the outside, and as you're eating into the steak, because you're going into the middle, get a different kind of taste as the out layer. Do you know what I mean? So what's the technique? Some people go it, some people wait. Detail. Well, I normally wear my gloves, but when you look to see my fingers in, Motion. The technique I'm talking about. As you bite the out of it, you're like, mmm. Then as you're going into the steak, it's like, mmm, mmm. You know what I mean? Watch yourself. You watch yourself. You're not no. getting none of the steak if you're being cheeky. None of the steak. None of the steak. I forgot the steak seasoning. That's a key ingredient which I missed out there. But as I'm trying to communicate, I'm normally just focused. I'm trying to communicate. I forgot that bit. Casey Oliver's back again and steak seasoning, pepper and garlic. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm finished. All a part I'm of it. Case, case, case. Wait, really? Call me daddy on video though, bro. Daddy. Thank you. Actually, I'm gonna get a bit of mixed herbs on there, you know. It's a drizzle though. Don't, it, don't try this at home. Some people go it, some people win. I'm gonna drizzle it in the center. See what I spoke about earlier when you're, you know, the seasoning technique, bringing it in. I'm just gonna leave a bit of mixed herbs in the middle. So when you're getting to the ending, you're getting angry, but it's the best bit. Okay, get Drizzle it in the center. Do it center okay, mid. You gotta take a little bit off, got a bit excited. Quite a bit on there needs to come off. Don't worry about that, technical difficulties happen. To the best of them. There you go. Time for the barbecue. Let's get the steak on there. Nice and seasoned. Put it in the corner, please, so I can put myself. Over off in the corner. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Cook it. Try. 
the top? Yeah. Just take it. <laughs> Think it's hundred percent done, yeah? Perfectly seasoned, right? Hot. Perfectly seasoned steak. Right, let's go and see what the steak's really saying. Oh, it's tender, you know. Good piece of steak from the butchers. Now right, let's see how this goes. Oh, that is delicious. Come here. Come, come. Way best steak I've ever had in my life. Combination of me and the best butchers in Bristol. Go get your steaks. I'd like to say a big thank you to John Shepherd's Butchers for sending me all the meats and provided, providing my family with some good food. Which obviously with my seasoning makes it 10 times better. But um, use the discount code REDS to get 10% off and try and cook a steak as good as me.